Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thanks a lot for making the previous video on Kubernetes troubleshooting and debugging a huge success. I have received a lot of comments on YouTube and people were messaging me on LinkedIn to continue making such videos. And uh, today I'm here with a new episode of our Kubernetes troubleshooting, which is OOM killed or out of memory. So this is one of the most interesting questions because you know, uh, most of the times people run most of the times people run into such issues on their production Kubernetes clusters and uh, you know they start to look into a lot of guides and uh, people look on to stack overflow and things but you know uh, there is something that is not present over the internet at least when I was trying to make this video I looked into one or two sources and uh, I was thinking should I make this video or not because this is one of the most common issues but uh, I did not find a proper source which explains all of these things in details. So I thought, okay, I'll make this video and uh, see if anybody who is looking into this issue, they might find this video useful. So, okay. So today we'll learn about what is OM, what are different types of out of memory, how to fix it, what are the challenges, what are the, I mean, there is a tool that I'm going to just tell you. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use it or not, but uh, it will actually help you to uh, find out such events uh, like OM and uh, it will also alert you that, you know, there is a OM on your cluster. So yeah, so that also I'll tell you. And finally, because this is a uh, interview based scenario questions, you know, you can also look at, look at my GitHub repository. So this is my GitHub repository, Abhishek Viramala or I am Viramala. You can search for this. So I've put the entire description. So whatever we are talking today in the video is available as notes here every every single thing in detail so that you know you can refer this uh, whenever you're going to give an interview on kubernetes so you can use this repository for kubernetes interview questions okay so without wasting any time let's try to understand what is out of memory so out of memory as the word itself describes that out of memory is nothing but the memory on the specific node let's say you are just using a one single node Kubernetes cluster for an easy understanding, okay? That really does not happen on a production Kubernetes uh, setup, but for your understanding, just say that you just have one a node on your Kubernetes cluster, okay? So you have a Kubernetes cluster with one master and one node architecture, okay? And on this node, you have set up a, a Kubernetes pod and similar to you, all the other people who have access to this uh, namespace, they started to create more and more pods. Okay, now this node is uh, nothing but an EC2 instance or it's a virtual machine, right? So end of the day, it's just a virtual machine. So an EC2 instance you created with a specific amount of memory and because people started to create more and more, you ran into out of memory and the node is not allowing you to create any more or the application is trying to consume more resources from your nodes and it is not getting enough resources. So this is a basic understanding that people have. But in general, if you try to look at uh, Kubernetes, there are two different types of out of memory in Kubernetes, right? So that is what I try to explain here. In Kubernetes, there are typically two different types of out of memory. One is OM. Uh, limit over commit and then there is container limit reached okay so now let's try to understand what is this but before to this you need to understand that in a production kubernetes cluster okay let's say that there is a pro production kubernetes cluster and uh, there are one two three n number of namespaces okay so what does a kubernetes administrator basically do is for each and every namespace he does a resource allocation so how does he do it? He sets up a resource quota for each and every namespace. So let's say this cluster is 50 GB in memory. So, I mean, all the nodes together, let's say it's 50 GB memory. So what he'll do is, let's say there are five projects. For each project, he says, you can use 10 GB of memory. Okay, so each project gets a 10 GB of memory. And for our easy understanding, let's say you have 10 applications in your namespace. This is your namespace. And in your namespace, you have 10 applications. And ideally, each pod requires 1 GB. Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, the scenario is perfect. Each uh, pod just requires one GB and I have 10 GB space. So perfect, everything is going good. You just deployed and unfortunately, one of your application is leaking a lot of memory. So that is because of your application developer's fault or whatever it is, it started leaking a lot of memory. Because it is leaking memory, what happened is the 10 GB that is available, all the other nine pods have consumed nine GB, for example. So this is trying to consume 1.5 GB because of the memory leakage, but because the node does not have or the resource quota or whatever it is, your node just has 10 GB or you are just allocated 10 GB of memory. 
so in such cases you will run into out of memory so now there are two scenarios here one is your node does not have enough memory and the other thing is you your cluster has good amount of memory but your administrator has restricted the memory for your namespace he just said that only you can use 10 gb right that is happening because of the resource quota so what are the two things that are here one is coming because your node has run out of memory or your cluster has run out of memory it does not have more resources but you are trying to use more resources so in such cases also you are gone you will run into out of memory and the other thing is you have good amount of memory but your administrator thought that okay this project only requires 10 gb now why are they expecting more than 10 gb so one of the pod is leaking the memory you have to fix it so for that reason kubernetes says that okay there is only 10 gb that is allocated for your namespace but your 10 applications are taking more than 10 gb so i am saying that one of these pods will go into out of memory that is the same pod that is leaking memory okay so the pod that is leaking memory is going into out of memory killed or om killed in the other case your kubernetes cluster has a lot of space okay so let's say this is your kubernetes cluster it has a lot of space but your application is using only using this much amount of memory then people started adding more and more applications okay they added n number of applications and now your node says that okay i don't have resources there is no resource quota or anything defined by the administrator but i am totally done I don't have more space left. So because of this thing also, you will run into out of memory, right? The two cases which I've explained here. One is OM killed limit overcome it. And the other thing is OM killed container limit reached. Okay. So both of the things are well explained uh, here. So if you can, uh, I mean, you can, I'll share the link in the description. You can directly read about this, but I hope you understood that two scenarios that are there. So because of these two reasons, you will run into out of memory killed. So who is the culprit? Now let's try to understand. Okay. I don't want to run into the definitions and the descriptions because you can directly read it here, but let's try to understand who is the culprit here. Okay, so there are two cases, right? One case is this one and one case is this one. So in this case, who is the culprit? The developer or I mean, probably he is a probable culprit or uh, there is some other things might be, but uh, directly what is happening here is the memory is getting leaked. Okay, so the memory leakage is not your fault or the DevOps engineer fault. So what you have to do in this case is you have to basically pull this process. Okay, so inside your uh, application or anything, there is a process id right so you take the process id for this okay what is the pid pid is the process id how do you find the process id you can directly log into the container or the pod and you can simply use the commands like ps minus ef so ps minus ef basically gives you the process id and using the process id you can take a thread dump okay take this thread dump what is a thread dump thread dump is nothing but in a java application basically i mean i'm just taking example as a java application you can take anything else so you basically your applications which are written by the developer they write in multiple threads okay so what happens most of the cases is one of the threads are not very well handled so one of these threads starts to leak memory or multiple threads starts to leak memory okay what is leaking memory either they uh, they are not doing garbage collection well or you know either they are using a lot of memories on the uh, uh, core kernel or the host and because of which you know you will not be able to by looking at the application you cannot tell right you can ideally look at the application logs but application logs will not talk anything about it so once you take the thread dumps what you will do is you can take this thread dumps using kill minus three command or j stack there are a lot of tools that are available for thread dumps the basic command is kill minus three take the kill minus three output uh, which directly comes on your console or you can use j stack to redirect into a file and send this file to a developer Okay, now what this developer does is he'll try to analyze this thread dumps and he says, okay, okay, now I understood what is the problem. So he redeploys a new version of this application and everything goes smooth. So this is the way how you handle the OM killed. When do you handle this? When one of your application or one of your um, uh, pod starts to leak memory and you are reaching uh, this issue because of, not because your uh, host is not having memory. Your application or your Kubernetes cluster, oh, sorry, your Kubernetes cluster has a lot of resources, but your administrator has restricted saying that okay your application should only consume 10 gb and one of your applications uh, starting to use more in such cases you can simply take thread dumps and give it to your developer developer will reanalyze and deploy a new version and everything is done and dusted there okay what are the tools that we used here kill minus three which is a kill command direct linux command or we can also use jstack so this is scenario number one now coming to scenario number two 
what is happening in scenario number 2 is your kubernetes cluster has lot of space but people started to deploy more and more and more applications okay in such cases it's not your fault i mean uh, sorry it's not developer's fault but it's a devops engineer fault that there is no proper segregation of resources like you know when people are starting to deploy more and more either you increase your node capability right you can say that okay my nodes require more and more space or you try to restrict uh, the projects with respect to resource quota and then you say that okay project a can use only 10 gb project b can only use 20 gb so in such cases you can directly find out the culprit which pod is actually taking a lot of memory if it requires that memory or not so in this case what happens is people can suffer even if it's not issue with their pod here what is happening is only the specific application is not running so you will directly kill this application uh, share the thread dumps and no other applications are affected here right only the application which is affected you are talking to developer and developer is working on it but in this case because there is a bunch of resources and nobody knows which resource is actually causing lot of issue okay you can typically find out but you know because there is no proper segregation so because of which all the applications are getting suffered like this application maybe is using more memory but since the resources are completed what kubernetes does kubernetes goes back and look at the linux out of memory manager ranking mechanism okay so in linux basically there is something called as om manager and what om manager does is it does ranking mechanism for each and every process so now what is there is depending upon the ranking order it start to kill the processes according to the ranking order so maybe the issues with issue is with this pod but these pods are getting killed did you get it right so this this scenario uh, the scenario number 2 which i am explaining anybody else can also face the problem it it does not matter which application it is but anybody else can face the problem so in scenario number 1 when the administrator has properly segregated and uh, maintaining the resource quotas and everything you can directly find the culprit so you can talk to the developer and in scenario number 2 as a kubernetes administrator as a devops engineer you have to work with the architecture of your kubernetes cluster okay so this is the out of memory and how do you able to solve it and one good command that you also have for uh, figuring out this out of mechanism uh, out of memory mechanisms is you can simply look at the kubectl get events okay so kubernetes logs events for out of memory and all the other kubernetes events so you can typically look at the events that are uh, happening on your kubernetes cluster and you can find out these things this is point number 1 and the point number 2 is if you want to automate this with number of tools okay so there are uh, many tools that are available uh, container iq is one okay so if you want to take a look at container iq right uh, so this is one of the tools uh, you can uh, basically start oh sorry not this one so kubernetes container iq i'll i'll put the link in the description uh, okay so kubernetes container iq is a tool which can also help you to uh, find out uh, or log the events about the uh, container events so that way also you can fix it by automating your entire thing so this is about it uh, this is about today's video about out of memory killed and uh, this is one of the most common scenarios you can also replicate it by uh, creating more and more pods on your mini cube cluster or kind cluster uh, so it's very easy to reproduce and uh, like i told you uh, there is no straightforward answer for this but uh, this is how you explain to your interviewer or this is how you uh, learn about out of memory killed and the entire description is also present here on my github page so yeah you can fork my or uh, you can just follow me on uh, github and and uh, you can learn such uh, interesting concepts on kubernetes okay so as your suggestion i'll tr i'll continue to make such videos on kubernetes troubleshooting and uh, thank you so much for all the love and please uh, let me know in the comment section if you like this video or you have any more suggestions from me any feedback and just to let you know that i take all the feedback very seriously and uh, you know next time when i make this videos i'll take care of it thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video bye bye